This is Orangeburg Public Safety. Serving as the headquarters for both the Orangeburg Police and Fire Departments. It's a unique place because many who work here are cross-trained to fight both crime and fire. Lawrence Buck is one of those fighters, but he ultimately chooses to go red. I joined the volunteer department in Canaan after I started working here too, so now I've Full, do full-time fire and I'm a volunteer. Orangeburg Public Safety consistently stays busy, taking in about 1,300 fire calls and up to 60,000 calls combined with policing each year. Getting into this line of work is not only a calling, but a mix of inspiration. I just love doing this. Like I said, it's in my blood from my dad and it's an adrenaline rush too and get to help people out. That's exactly what Paul Ledeck was doing in this picture that a local newspaper captured a few years ago. He says it was on the scene of a fire and he was helping to go through the rubble. The picture currently hangs on the wall in Chief Michael Adams's office as a reminder of the special work the department does. The difference that you can make in somebody's life and also the fact that you can save somebody's life and um, I mean what's more noble than that? Getting back to National Firefighters Day, those working for Orangeburg Public Safety say it's not about being a hero. It's about so much more. I mean, I just feel like I'm just doing, you know, a, my job. Passion is, is a, is a good, good part of it. Service is, is first and foremost. Working today for a safer tomorrow. In Outstanding Orangeburg, Natalie Parsons, Watch Fox News.